going to show you how to make raw French toast. Now this French toast can also be used for other bread such as onion bread or garlic bread, uh, basil, rosemary, pretty much anything that you can think of you can make this bread into. So we can just add our almond flour to our mixing bowl. Then we're going to ground up our pecans so we can make a pecan flour. Next, we have our sunflower seeds, which we need to grind in our spice grinder. Once you have your sunflower seeds grounded, just add them into the mix like everything else. Next, we have our golden flax seed. Again, put it in the spice grinder. Just add it right into the mix. Once you have all your dry stuff added, just go ahead and mix it. You can also add your cinnamon now. Next, we'll add about a fourth cup of coconut nectar. Now this is delicious. I like this better than agave nectar. Then we'll add in our three tablespoons of oil. You can use olive oil, grapeseed oil, sunflower oil, whatever you'd prefer. If a recipe calls for date paste, this is all it means. Just mix some dates with some water. And then all we have to do is mix it all together and we will be ready to spread it onto our dehydrator sheet. Rip off a piece of plastic wrap. We're just going to kind of mash it out a little bit and get ready to use our rolling pin. And then we'll go ahead after and clean it up with a spoon. And that's it. Now all you have to do is put it onto your dehydrator sheet and we're going to dehydrate it on one side for two hours and then you're going to flip it over and dehydrate it on the other side for about an hour or two. Check on it to make sure that it doesn't get too dry and it stays moist because you will store it and refrigerate it and if you want a hot breakfast in the morning you want to leave a little bit of room to dehydrate it and get it warm again.